There are three different ways that you can add cascading style sheets or CSS to your web page or web pages. Inline, internal, and external. This video will demonstrate how to add external CSS to your web page. An external style sheet is best used when several web pages require styling. An internal style sheet is best used when a single web page has a unique style, and an inline CSS should only be used when only a few HTML elements on a page require styling. The external CSS is my preferred method because I can create one style sheet and apply it on every one of my websites in a matter of seconds or however long it takes for me to type out a URL. And since I'm a copy and paste person, it takes very little time. Since the external style sheet handles all the presentation or design of the entire website, you can make a single change to any one of your styles on that one CSS file and that change takes place on your entire site. For example, if you have the H1 tag set as blue but now you want them all to be red, instead of having to go to each and every one of your pages on that site and look for each and every one of those H1 reference tags to change them all to red, you simply change the one H1 blue tag on your external style sheet to red and bam, every one of your H1 elements are now red. Click, click, done. That simple. Here, let me show you an example of an external style sheet and just how you can add it to your website. Very simple. First off, you want to make sure that your style sheet is not a web page. In other words, it does not have the declaration, it does not have your opening and closing HTML tags, no opening and closing head tags, and all that. All that stuff should not be on your style sheet. And the style sheet needs to be saved as a .css file. So you have a, in this example, a notepad, just a plain old text document, and you have all of your stylings on here. And even if on a particular web page you're not going to be using an H5 tag, for example, I would go ahead and have all the stylings that I would possibly use on any website on the one style sheet. That way, I'm covered. I can use this same style sheet on every single one of my websites. And if on one of my websites, let's say website A, I'm only using an H1 and an H3 tag, I'm covered. If on website B, I'm using an H1 and an H5 and an H6 tag, I'm covered there as well with the same exact style sheet. So now, and I've only got three of them listed here, but you can have as many as you want. Now, whenever you save this, especially if you're using a notepad document like this is, you want to make sure that you save it as a .css file. And using this example here, with notepad, you want to make sure that your save as type is selected to all files and you want to make sure that the extension again is .css and you can name it whatever you want but it should be ideally it should be in the same location as your website files are not necessary and I'll show you that here in just a second but ideally it should be located in the same directory as all of your website files let me go ahead and open up my HTML file in my editor right click open with Komodo here we are now this is my website file here and I've got all of my tags here with the content in between the tags. For example, H1 tag, H2 tag, paragraph tags, and so on. And for an external style sheet, you have to have the link here that brings in that style sheet from wherever it is into this particular web page. And it's located between your opening and closing head tag. And this is the exact way it needs to be laid out. Now right in here is where you can have the absolute URL, the HTTP colon slash slash name of your domain and all that stuff if your CSS file is not located in the exact same directory as your HTML files are but in this example it is so this is all we need right here so let me go ahead and demonstrate this by showing you this in a browser or as in this case keeping it on the same page here I'm going to show it to you in the Komodo tab and this pops up in my other monitor of course click on preview and here we are and just to demonstrate the quickness of changing these let's assume for a second that this CSS file is pointed on 20 pages in this particular website and on every one of those pages I want the H1 tag to be a different font style or from a different font family so again instead of going to each one of those pages and each one of those H1 tags to make the change from Verdana to say Arial I make the one change on the one CSS sheet save that CSS sheet and we're done and of course to demonstrate it I just need to refresh the page boom every single one of those H1 tags all over my entire website is now done and that's going to bring to an end this video on setting up and using an external style sheet thanks for watching and you have a great day